At London's French Institute, Ambassador René Massigli holds an investiture for the Earl of Cork, the Legion of Honour. For General Carton de Wiert, the Legion of Honour, Class of Commander. Field Marshal Auchinleck sees four-year-old Michel Sauvage receive his father's posthumous croix de guerre before he is invested himself in the traditional manner, a Grand Officer of the Legion of Honour. France honours old comrades in arms as Admiral Sir Harold Burrow, an officer of the Legion of Honour, joins a proud company. In New York, the Overseas Press Club remembers an old friend. The correspondents present a gold-plated typewriter to America's retired Secretary of State, George Marshall. His successor, Dean Acheson, says of his new assignment, To succeed General Marshall requires more courage than one man is required to summon in one lifetime. <laughs> Incidentally, I have been wondering how Mr. Vyshinsky feels about his situation. <laughs> Twenty-five hundred tons of wood pulp go up in the year's longest, costliest blaze as fire strikes in darkness at a Dartford, Kent paper mill. Believed to have been started by spontaneous combustion following the flooding of the mill by the Thames, the fire engulfs bales worth about £100,000. These exclusive pictures show firemen who, called in from seven areas, pump in three and a half million gallons of water. Though thousands of tons have already been saved, the remainder will probably take a week to burn itself out. <laughs> 